Uh, let's take a look at complementary and supplementary angles from an algebraic perspective. All right. A lot of times in this course what we'll do is we'll introduce the geometric ideas and then we'll uh, very, very soon after incorporate algebra into them. All right, for example, let's do uh, number one here. We'll draw a straight line and then a ray coming off of it. Uh, let's say that, well, first of all, we we know that these two are supplementary angles. So right off the bat, I want to write down that I know that these two add up to be 180. So whatever they are, this plus this equals 180. But instead of making it uh, sort of just by the letters, let's actually throw some numbers and some algebra in there and we'll see if we can uh, figure this out. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and say that this is 102 degrees. And this right here is x plus 7. All right, so when these when you look at these two, these are obviously a linear pair. They're supplementary. So we put 102 right here, and we put x plus 7 right here. And then we solve it. All right, we're dealing with the left-hand side of our equation. 102 plus 7 is 109. And then we're going to subtract. We get x is equal to, let's see, 180 minus 109. That is pretty simple. That's 71. And that's our answer. Every time we get an answer, we're going to put a box around it. Number two. Number two, we're going to look at, no, that's not the greatest, no, right there. let's do this. These are, this is a right angle, so we're going to draw in complementary angles. So first things first, I'm going to set up my sort of blank template. I know that that little box means 90 degrees. Uh, so let's say that this is x minus 5, and this is 3x plus 1. So we take them and we say x minus 5 plus the other one, 3x plus 1 is equal to 90. Combine like terms, we have, let's use orange to kind of make it pretty simple to see that we want to add the oranges together. So 1x plus 3x is 4x. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 is equal to 90. So now we have two more steps. It's a two-step equation, pretty simple. We want to always add or subtract before we multiply or divide. That's a general tip. So we go like this, they cancel out, 4x is equal to, oops, 4x is equal to 94, and then we want to divide by 4 on both sides. So our final answer is 94 over 4. Well, we can leave that as a simplified fraction or we can change it into a decimal. As a simplified fraction, let's see, they're both even, so let's cut them both in half. Uh, 47 over 2, that would be simplified. So that's an okay answer. Uh, depending on what, you know, sometimes you'll have multiple choice tests. Depending on what the choices are, you, know, you kind of have to figure out what your correct answer is going to be. 47 divided by 2. Let's see, 46 divided by 2 is 23, so this is going to be 23.5. Either answer is totally acceptable. And, and, you know, as really good students, you're going to go back and you're going to, you know, take these x values and you'll plug them in to check your work. So if we plug in 71 up here, 71 
goes right here. 71 plus 7. 71 plus 7 is 78. 78 plus 102 is 180. That works. We plug them back in here. This one's a little bit more complicated. I'll show you the work. So if we check uh, 23.5, so we go 3 times 23.5 plus 1 plus 23.5 minus 5, and that should equal 90. Let's check it. 3 times 23, that's 69, plus another 1.5, that's 70.5 plus 23.5 minus 5. That better equal 90. Let's check it here. 70.5 plus 1 is, I'll take it over here, 71.5 plus 23.5. Well, that's easy. 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 give you an even 0 there. So we have uh, 95 right there. And then remember, we have that minus 5 at the end. So that does check out. If it didn't, we'd go back and we'd check all of our algebra and see where we screwed up. Uh, so that's really the uh, sort of the taking it a step further and using algebra to further our understanding of geometry.